All right, guys, it's time to do the layout uh, overview that uh, got requested by one of my subscribers. Model Railer is his uh, YouTube name. So here we go. So we're going to start here. As you can see, there's a left out section here. And this is in the rec room. So we're going to start here, go down by the engine uh, yard and everything. So it comes down through here by the freight yard too on the other side of the engine yard there's a freight yard and the engine yard continues to the back back through here where you see there's some more a car repair area uh, another locomotive repair area as well this is basically is going to serve as uh, locomotive servicing and then of course we have the uh, sanding tower here I still got to put in some uh, refueling racks Still got to go in this refueling area, and then I still got to do some piping for the you know, storage tanks for the diesel fuel for the engine shop. And this is where the uh, tank cars come in, unload their load, and, and head back out again. So, as we continue on around down through the engine yard and freight yard area, As you can see, I got an industrial section that's starting to happen in the foreground, which slowly gets transitioned into the big cityscape as it goes in behind my TV. Now we have a juice packing plant here. And then we continue on down through across the uh, into the city in a small little town that sits on the outskirts of the big city as you can see here so it goes in behind the town there's another uh, logistics uh, warehouse that I put in I haven't given it a name yet so I'm not too worried about uh, naming my uh, towns or uh, areas yet until I get it completely finished. And then of course it goes by the brewery, which starts from that boxcar right there. And it continues down through here. And as you can see I've made piping to go from one building to the next. And then this is where the covered hoppers would come in, drop off their barley and stuff, and I still got to put some silos up there for it yet. And then it continues on. And then we got the grain elevator down here. And then it continues on down through around here, through here. As you can see where it ends there, you can see where the bench work ends now. This bench work is uh, attached to the wall. So I've made a lift out piece so I can have a continuing running all the way around. So this section here with the bridges, that whole section will lift up. So as you can see, I start this, this area first. But knowing me, I'm thinking, yeah, well, you know what, that's fine. I need uh, to run longer trains, so I need more room. So now basically, the trains run around now. As they go from one room to the next, they share this one line. So two trains share one line to get back because uh, I'm going to show you where it breaks out into double, another double line to go out into the other room. So the trains will come through here onto the single line and it's still a single line right to where this train sits and then right about here there's a switch that breaks that right back out again. So now the two main lines go to the outer side close to the wall as you can see the other train sitting there and goes around then it, you can see where it climbs 
goes up there like that is it's uh that's about a two and a half percent gray I think. Anyways I'll get off my little perch and uh we'll go over there and have a look and you'll can see exactly what I've done. <clears throat> so and here's what I've done. Now a lot of people get a kick out of this. And of course <clears throat> My, my wife thought I was crazy by doing it, but she said, you know, whatever makes me happy, I can do. So there it goes. It goes through my stairs. So I cut a little tunnel portal in the risers of my stairs to run the two lines up. Now it comes through here into the uh, laundry room area. You can see there's the, the wife's laundry room area. That comes through the risers of the stairs. Now it comes around down through here. Now this whole section that I'm showing you is going to get ripped out and we are going to be putting a staging area up in here. Probably about 10, 10 tracks maybe. We'll see how many tracks I can fit in. So it goes all the way around. Then it goes back in behind them trees and the mountain scene here. Then it starts to come down. Now it comes down along this section right here. As you can see, it goes by another terrain area, and it keeps coming around. Now, this ain't your traditional helix, it's just the way I built it, the way I like it, uh, because I'm going to be running some really long trains. goes into that tunnel anyways, and it goes underneath here, then it comes back out through this tunnel. down across the bridges that I put in then it goes underneath itself one more time okay into that tunnel now that's where the two main lines split for a few minutes so the other main line comes out underneath here underneath the bridge and that's where it comes from from underneath the layout and then the other main line comes out down around this area, around the coal area, and then runs right up in again, updates grade. So this is line line number one, and then I've got a siding in here, and this siding joins the second main line, which is over here. So anyways, the trains will come up, go by the uh, train station. And they go into that tunnel right there, back in underneath itself again, and then it merges from this tunnel and then goes up this little climb. And it goes into that tunnel, and then after it comes out, it'll come out for, uh, through another tunnel down here, and as you can see. The set of tracks way over there, right there, and you can see the hole in the wall. Well, that goes back into the rec room. So, and I'll just take you over here and show you the hole in the wall from the rec room. There it is there. And then that's when the trains when they get here, uh, that's where the uh, single line starts. So that's a shared line. That shared line is about, I'd say about four feet, maybe four and a half feet long. It gives it a more realistic operation because the train will have to stop. Alright guys, that's uh, the complete overview. I'll give you a nice wide shot of what the layout looks like from this end. Try not to bump your head when you go underneath the bridge like I just did so you can see how big my layout really is. Now this layout is capable of running four trains on the main line. And uh, well of course you got the, uh, the yard engines that will run around. So you got probably about two or three yard engines. So you know you got quite a few 
trains running around on this thing. Well, that's the overview. And when I start deconstruction of this, I'll be shooting videos on that when that area up there gets ripped out and staging area will commence. All right, that's all the time I have for now, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, subscribing and uh, thanks for watching my videos. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video on the overview of my layout. Thanks for tuning in and uh, bye for now.